Sundays with Abuelita. Domingo, Sunday is my favorite day. On Domingos, my younger sister Alma and I gather with our cousins and friends on the dirt roads by our adobe home. Being with them keeps my mind busy, my mind busy so I don't think about mama. Abuelita, Grandma Maria has lived with us even before Mama left with my sister Sonia and Lorena to live in El Norte. I'll take good care of Alma and Teresa until you have enough money to take them with you, Abuelita promised. Abuelita promised Mama when she left. Papa sent money so we could all join him, but it wasn't enough. And here we are waiting Mama, my older sister, my youngest sister, Lorena, Sonia and Lorena, uh, as they're leaving to El Norte. And we didn't have money to buy luggage, so they packed all their belongings on card, uh, cardboard boxes and tied them with rope. Oh, one more thing. And um, my mom was also expecting her fifth child. Girls, Abuelita Maria calls out, I'm going to fetch water from the pila. The pila is an enormous well that provides water for the village. We wave goodbye. We're busy in the streets playing tag, shooting marbles, and playing trompos, spinning tops. And here are the spinning tops and the marbles. And back then we didn't have water. We didn't have a faucet that you can turn turn on or off. So if we needed water, we needed to go fetch it ourselves. And that's what our abuelita is doing there. And here's this person carrying water. Our best friend Esmeralda tells us ghost stories. We circle close together as we listen to her spine tingling tales. We love the one about La Llorona, the weeping woman. It's fun sharing scary stories when you're surrounded by friends, right? Jose, Veronica, Patricia, ya metanse. Time to come in, Abuelita calls. On Domingos, we don't mind ending our playtime early. Our playtime early. We look forward to going to the plaza with Abuelita. I think she likes Domingos too, because she doesn't have to go on a hunt, up for wood to cook dinner. Last one home is a rotten egg. I challenge as we all race home. And you know that water that Abuelita was fetching from the pila? She used it to fill up this tint up for our bath. Nestled in our enchanted garden is a gigantic tin bathtub. Brrr, the sun's gentle rays barely warm the icy water. But that doesn't stop Elma and me. We splash around like fish until our hands are covered in wrinkles. The sound of Abuelita's brisk footsteps means it's time for a good scrubbing. Ay, 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 I complain as she washes my long brown hair and digs her nails into my scalp. Alma enjoys the extra time and rolls around in the tub as she waits her turn. And in the garden, Abuelita loved, um, loved growing plants and, and flowers. And so here's that pomegranate, pomegranate tree and the hydrangeas and many other flowers. And it made her garden feel like a magical place. We wriggle into our flowing dresses that Mama sent. I can't wait to go to the plaza. Abuelita, I feel like a high flying dove. I giggle, flapping my arms and soaring down the cobblestone road. And a pretty one too, she adds. So these dresses were sent to us from El Norte. And when we wore them, we felt like little princesses. At 
the plaza, the tostada booth's warm aroma of frijoles and spicy red salsa fills the air. I inch my way through the crowd and call out, Dos por favor. My voice gets lost in the sounds of the sizzling hot oil, the clanging pots, and the throngs of people shouting out their orders. I shout, I shout louder until my voice is heard, Dos por favor. Tostadas are only sold on domingos, so we savor every bite. And this is the plaza, the town square, and, and it would it, it would bustle with excitement on Sundays, on Domingos. So here's the panadero selling his bread in a big um, Mexican sombrero. And they would, on Domingos, they would also sell gelatinas and paletas. And of course, there's that tostada booth. Next, Abuelita takes us to visit Papa's mama. Buenas tardes, Abuelita Pola. Mama and I greet, I'm sorry, Alma and I greet her as we enter her small convenience store. Abuelita Pola is a stern lady of few words, but her face lights up when she sees us come in. Buenas noches, my girls. Get your drinks. She smiles, pointing to the cooler. We only drink soda on Domingos. Ah, every sip is so refreshing. I gazed at the top shelf where toilet paper rolls collect dust. In my village, most people can't afford toilet paper. I wonder who has money to spend on that, I ask. Alma shrugs her shoulders. Maybe it's for the rich people who visit from El Norte. One day, you too will have toilet paper. Abuelita Maria says, and we giggle. We can't believe that one day we'll be able to have that. As our abuelitas gossip, we skip to the outhouse. Our hair is swaying back and forth. On the wall are squared pieces of newspaper hooked on, on, hooked on a wire. We each grab a square and pretend to be the richest girls in El Norte. So we didn't own an outhouse. This was at, my, at our Abuelita Pola's um, store. She owned an outhouse and that's why we loved, one of the reasons why we loved going there. So here we are, Alma and me dreaming of one day having enough toilet paper to throw around. On our way home, we are lured by the bakery's warm smell of pan dulce, sweet bread. Abuelita chooses a cuernito, horn-shaped bread. Alma is drawn to sprinkles, and I stick to my favorite concha. Mmm, I love ending domingos with my favorite treat. Do you like pan dulce? If you do, which one is your favorite? There are so many to choose from. The moon lights her path home and my feet tap, tap, tap merrily on each cobblestone. As we turn onto the dirt road that leads home, Abuelita holds our hands to keep us from tripping over the potholes. I catch a glimpse of El Cielo, blanketed with flickering stars. Capullo, our cat, greets us with a welcoming meow. The taste events replay like a movie reel in my head, making me smile. So back then we also didn't have electricity, but we did have the moon that gave out its natural light and, and lit our way home. So you can imagine we loved full moons, right? On Domingo nights, when the world is quiet, I think a lot about Mama. Abuelita says if I close my eyes and imagine myself flying around the world, beautiful dreams will follow. I snuggle next to Alma and Abuelita. Abuelita, 
please come with us to El Norte. I plead as I always do every Domingo. This is my home, she insists, as she always does. But Domingos there won't be the same without you. That's true. But when your mama comes for you, your Domingos with Abuelita will remain tucked in your heart. Her words fill me with joy. So back then, since we didn't have electricity at night, we would carry around a kerosene lamp. We also didn't own a TV. Um, so, but Abuelita owned this radio. And that was like our alarm clock. So every morning when she opened up her eyes, she would turn it on to listen for the time. And the announcer would say, it's son las seis de la mañana. Es hora de despertar. It's 6 a.m. It's time to wake up. I close my eyes and dream of the day my mom will come for us. But somehow, I already know that when that day comes, I will dream of my domingos with abuelita. And that's the end. I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. And maybe one day you too will be inspired to write your own story. Thank you.